Gonna show you guys how to make a spear that can harvest meat or fish. You need a sharp knife, a piece of string, a handsaw if you've got one. If you haven't got string, you could use a bit of flax or even a hose clip, and you will need fire. So let's go and find a piece of wood. For your spear, you want to be straight, about that much longer than yourself. So if you have a fall, you don't poke yourself in the eye of the sharp end. Uh, directly behind me, there's a sapling that's actually dead. Now it's not so ideal, but I don't really want to kill a tree just for the sake of making a video. Um, so this one here will do fine as a demonstration. So I'm going to pull that out of the ground now and we'll tear into it. Going to poke that in there. Now my kit, I carry a pair of vice grips and one of these, a saw blade. Whack that in there like so. Snap it shut, voila, a really good saw. Now I'm gonna make that flush. That's nice and flat. Make sure that the end of the wood is firmly in the ground. You don't want to be having an accident. This is my baton, which I'm gonna be whacking my knife into the end of my spearhead. So we're going to make a cross the other way and baton that right down. Good. I'm using my saw, but you can just as easily use your knife. I'm about just under a foot from the tip. This is where I'm going to put my cord. And then with the knife, you're going to cut towards it, like so. So you've got a straight edge and a bevel. So what I want is a couple of bits of wood, about so big about as thin as that, or a little bit thinner, just going to whittle it down to open up the split at the end of my spear. Before we drive these two bits into the end of our spear, we need to put some cord around it, so we'll do that. I'm using a piece of flax and I'm going to go around this, I've got a loop in one end, we'll tighten that up, bring it back around on itself a few times. Now you can also use, as I said earlier on, a hose clip, to slide down would just as easy. This is going to be a temporary measure. So when I drive my pegs down, it doesn't split any further. And you can also do this before you baton your piece of wood if you're worried about splitting it. I'm not in this case because this is a thick piece of wood. Put a loop in that in there, underneath and you can see that, and bring that back on that loop, like so. It's going to make it nice and tight. We'll put another one in the other way. That's called a towing hitch. It goes both ways. And that's what you use for anything that's going to be under pressure that you want to release easy and then you can finish off with a half hitch like that. It's a temporary measure. And that'll hold it when I put my pieces of wood down. These pegs are going to get driven down to about here. Just going to poke another wedge on the side here. We're going to make each end sharp just using the baton and the knife like this and then we're going to take it to the fire and we're going to wrap it dry it. I've taken the cord off so it doesn't catch fire and I'm now fire hardening the tips of my spear. Just letting the flames gently kiss the tips making sure nothing catches fire. Now this is not so essential if you're making your spear out of dead wood like I am, but for green wood it is. If this was green wood, I would be burying it in the embers with this end here, like so. Which would wrap and harden it, or wrap, wrap it dry at least, turning it around. Another thing, if I was in a survival situation in New Zealand and I made my weapon to catch meat or fish, 
I will also be sharpening this end as well to one good point for larger game like goats, wild pig, anything I can sneak up on and give it the old one too. I'm pretty satisfied these tips are hard now. When putting your flax back on, align your loop with your split and a peg. Go straight up to the peg and turn it, bring it round, over, under, over, under, come back the other way. So you've got an alternative type pattern going on there. Tight as. Down back to a notch we're just down. We're going to go the opposite way now. Keep it nice and tight. The whole way around. We're going to finish off by putting this down through here. We're putting a half hitch in the top like so. Hopefully that's clear. I'm going to cut my remaining bit of flax off. Poke it down, split the other side so it can't catch or anything. Feed it in there with the back of the knife, like that. That's all to do. Pretty happy with that. Uh, in the future, I'll be posting a clip on hunting something with this. Don't know what, fish, or some small game. See you later. Good luck with making your own spear. <laughs>